Eddie, um, obviously not the result that you guys were hoping for uh, for Team Smith, but just what are your overall thoughts on it better be of his performance? Yeah, amazing. I mean, it's like he's not human, really. It's like uh, almost like an unfair advantage up against him. He's very strong. Um, he was hardly breathing. Like, he's a machine for the man. And, you know, I thought um, Callum probably started a little bit too slow because better be of tends to start slow and better be was quite um, passive tonight because I think he, he respected Callum and he boxed really well and his defence was good there was a couple of left hooks that, that whizzed by the nose um, and he had a good second round Callum and also the sixth round he, I just felt like oh we might be finding a little bit of you know momentum here but the problem is over the rounds you just accumulate punishment and the punishment's too much so it's just really a case of how much you can take before it becomes too much but you've got to put a dent in him early enough to stop that from coming and Callum wasn't able to do it. Where does Callum go from here now? I don't know, you know, he's done everything in the sport really. He's won world titles, he's won ring magazine championships, he's won British and European titles. Um, you have to ask yourself, like he hasn't really taken a lot of punishment in his career. That was quite punishing tonight, but still, like it's not like he's been knocked out unconscious yeah. and even the Canelo Alvarez fight, he lost it, you know, but he didn't really take heavy punishment in the fight. That's his two defeats. So but what else do you want to achieve? You know, you want to try and win a world championship at light heavyweight. They're tied up. Obviously, um, you know, you've got the, the Bivol fight, which is going to take place at some point this year. So you're going to be waiting for a world championship. So I think he'll have some arrest. And inactivity's killed him a little bit. He pulled out of a fight in March. Better BF pulled out of a fight in September. So he hasn't, you know, he didn't box in 2023, which was disappointing for him. So could have done with the activity, but Better Beer was too good tonight. Based on what you were able to see of Better Beer tonight, how do you think that he does against Dimitri Bivol? Look, I'm, I always back our guy. I, I believe Callum would win tonight. And I do believe Dimitri Bivol beats him, but it's a real 50-50 fight. Like Bivol's movement is outstanding. I think Better Beer will really struggle with that. But you have to have the power to hurt him. And if you don't, your movement has got to be so good and so precise to, to withstand 12 rounds of, of punishment or ones round it. Like, even if you don't get hit clean, it hurts. And you see better, better we have power. It's freakish. It's almost like the little, even the little touches get you off balance. And then, yeah, you know, I thought Callum spent a little bit too much time on the ropes tonight as well. Bivol won't be there. You know, his feet are very, very good. And it's a brilliant fight. One of the best fights in boxing. And hopefully we can get it over the line. Um, Francis Ngannou hit back on a few comments that you had made. You seem to be very popular with people. <laughs> Which one? Everyone. So he basically said that obviously you're doing the promoter thing yeah. um, by calling him sort of easy work for Anthony Joshua. Yeah. He says that he believes that Anthony Joshua will be easier to send down to the canvas than it was Fury. Just what, what's going on there? Like, but I mean, do you want to say something in return to that? No, not really. Look, I'm a very passionate guy. I was arguing with <laughs> Better Bev's team after the fight, you know, for, for things that I said. And I said that I'm not, I'm never going to not speak my mind. And a lot of people, like one of the corner team, well, yeah, you're just promoting the fight. Not really. Yeah, I am. But I'm also speaking with my heart. I believe Anthony Joshua will make easy work of Francis Ngannou. I don't think it's not dangerous. Like, Ngannou has power. He's very strong. But I, that's my, I believe that Anthony Joshua will be much too good for Francis Ngannou. So it's never a disrespect thing. And he has the ability to send anyone down, as he says. Anyone. Could be AJ. He did it to Tyson Fury. I'm sure there's many others. But there's, there's more to it than that. You know, there's more to the, the, the skill and the art of boxing. And um, I believe he'll be too good for him. Ngani was obviously saying that, you know, look, I'm new to this, but it's I mine. believe, yeah. yeah, but he's like, I believe that, um, or he said something about AJ's chin, saying I heard that he doesn't have a great chin. Um, just, you know, go, going back and forth, do you actually see this fight going the distance? Do you see that somebody... It depends, depends how AJ wants to approach the fight. Right. I think if he chooses to box smart, yeah, he can do the 10 rounds, no problem. If he chooses to be aggressive, I think he knocks him out, but... Mm. You, you've got to always be smart in the heavyweight division. Like, it's, it's not that Francis and Garnu can knock AJ out or can drop Fury. Anybody can. 
who's that size and, and, and knows how to throw their hands. Do you know what I mean? So I think that France Ngannou is admirable, the fact that this is his second professional fight. His first one was against Tyson Fury and his second one's against Anthony Joshua. And he's competing, he's competitive. I thought, you know, people say, um, France is saying that, you know, about me saying this, saying that. I think he beat Fury, right? Like, but I just, when it comes to AJ, I just, I think we're on a roll now. And I think we're going to do the business and then beat Tyson Fury. His Excellency uh, tweeted that he he's happy, obviously, for better be of winning, that he could sleep happy tonight. Um, when I asked Bob Arum about the negotiation, because from my understanding, it was being reported as though it was a done deal on both Bivol and better be of side. But Bob Arum is saying, we haven't even begun negotiations. We haven't even spoken with His Excellency. Um, do you want to clear that up? Because I think there's a lot of people who are saying that it is officially a done deal. For, for us, yeah. it's a done deal. So Bivol's side is a done deal. Correct. Okay. We have signed for that fight. Yeah. So I don't know where the rest is up to. It's not my business. What I know is, is His Excellency is doing an amazing job for boxing and making the fights that somehow have eluded us. So it's over to him and, and Bob Aaron. But Dimitri Bivol is in, signed. And we hope Better Be Able will be as well. And Billy tonight, um, his performance, oh, yeah. crazy. Yeah. Um, obviously, he's calling out Canelo. Just yeah. what were your, th your thoughts on a potential yeah, matchup think, between the two? I think that and Billy is going to be in great fights. I like the fights with Belanga, with um, Pacheco, mm -hmm. uh, John Ryder when he beats Jaime Munguia. You know, and I think a fight, like, I don't think he's going to be on the list for Canelo Alvarez, but you know, action-wise, it'll be a great fight. Right. And, you know, listen, shout out to Rohan Murdoch. I thought they should have pulled him out a round or two before, but how brave was he? I yeah. mean, like, His took chin. so much. Unbelievable chin, yeah. but very exciting fighter. Right. Um, anything else? Anything else you want to say before no, we wrap up? The press conference, yep. to, oh no, tomorrow, Sunday, Monday. Yeah. And Garnu against uh, AJ. Jealous that I can't be there. Oh, it's going to be a great event <laughs> and uh, looking forward to it. Okay. Oh, actually, you know what? Last one. Um, any update on Billy Joe Saunders? No, not at the moment. Just training. Um, we'll catch up with him when we're back in the UK. Okay. We need to think of a new advert for freebets.com. Get your best betting offers from freebets.com. Yeah, that'll do. The following deals are now live.